G'day lads. As you can see, I've been pretty busy over the COVID lockdown. I'd like to introduce you to the greatest poker table ever built. Fucking sick. Now I know what you're thinking. I've seen a poker table with coloured lights before. That's not so great. But you haven't seen one like this. This is just the pre-game show for when we're standing around the table waiting for the remaining players to arrive was being mesmerised by the lights. When we're ready to play, that's when we start the seat selection phase. Everyone takes their seat and pushes the button in front of them. Their seat's highlighted in green. We're now in the game. Everyone has 20 seconds to select their seat. Any seats that aren't selected during this phase, they're not in the game. I'm going to play this game with six players. Now we normally use a dealer button to show who's the dealer, but not on this table. The dealer is randomised by the table, and in this case, it's this seat right here. His button is highlighted, and his lights show up as white. To his left, in yellow, is the small blind, and then purple is the big blind. We're ready to play a game. After the first hand is played, the button's now ready to be moved on. The dealer pushes his button, the blinds disappear, and the dealer buttons move to the next player. Then we see the new blinds. We're ready to play again. The game progresses like this. And then a player is eliminated. The eliminated player holds his button for three seconds. His lights flash red, and then they go out indicating he's no longer in the game. His button is also highlighted and he has the same functionality as the dealer button because he's the last eliminated so he's the professional dealer. Now I try to keep it pretty simple for you boys so I hope it's not too confusing but the nerd in me couldn't help but add a little bit more functionality so let me show you how that works. If an active player pushes their button, the lights begin to flash. Now if the action's on you, and you see the lights flashing like this, that's someone trying to give you the hurry along. He's just trying to call the clock. Maybe a player, the action's on them, but they're too busy talking about some chicken pasta, the greatest meal they've ever had in their life. So you push your button to call the clock. The dealer has to confirm, yeah, the play's taking too long. It starts a clock around the table. It goes from red, transitions all the way to green. The blue lights under each player represent time extensions. Everyone starts with three. It takes 15 seconds for the clock to run out. If the player doesn't action their hand before the time runs out and the game goes back to normal, the hand is dead. They have to fold their hand and we're ready to play the next hand. But let's say the clock is called. The dealer confirms that he's going to start the clock. The 15 second timer starts around the table. But the player, who might be this one here, decides he needs more than 15 seconds. He's got a bit of a problem on his hands and needs a bit more time to think. He pushes his button to reset the timer using one of his time extensions. Now, the new clock doesn't start timing until that remainder, main, remainder of the unused 15 seconds disappears, which in this case was only a couple of seconds. This clock runs a lot slower, and he's got a full minute before the clock runs out. Each player can use as many time extensions as they have remaining. After having a bit of a think, this player decides to call. I think you're bluffing. The dealer cancels the clock because an action's now been made. The game goes back to normal, but he was wrong. He wasn't bluffing and he's eliminated. Now, when we get to this stage of the game, it can start to get a bit bunched up at the ends of the tables, or in certain sections of the table, depending on who goes out. 
So I decided to add a little bit more functionality. I couldn't help myself. Let's say this player wants to move around. He's getting a bit too close to the guy next to him. He sees this, this seat here is vacant. He holds the button in for three seconds. Once the lights start flashing, he pushes his button and he changes seats. Much more room to play. Then we can progress the game. Let's go all the way to heads up. With only two players remaining, there's only a small blind and a big blind. If you're the dealer button, you're the small blind. Otherwise, if you're the big blind. I look forward to seeing all you boys at the next game.